It's never too late for a Voyager mystery in the far reaches of space, is it? People have had an unquenchable thirst for knowledge about the secrets of the universe since human technology made it feasible to launch rockets and satellites into orbit. With NASA's Voyagers sending us data to evaluate and, well, having just issued us a terrible warning, everything is going to change. NASA's Voyager 2 is travelling into outer space on a perilous and uncertain voyage. It and its sibling Voyager 1 have travelled beyond the limits of the solar system and into the interstellar medium, placing them approximately 14.6 billion miles away from Earth. Anything can go wrong when things are so far away. What went wrong and how do we go about it? What might it mean for our future? Let's find out. The Voyager missions have played a crucial role in space exploration for more than 45 years, giving some of the very first and most important glimpses into the true status of our solar system. Yet, it was never planned for these missions to go so long. The idea to send out probes in the 1970s was created by pure accident when Michael Minovich realised that a spacecraft could piggyback on the velocity of a planet and catapult further out into the solar system. This led to the first plans for the probe being carried out. The Voyager mission was originally intended to span five years, according to NASA officials. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are nonetheless still travelling and collecting important scientific data from the furthest reaches of space. The two spacecraft were launched weeks apart in the summer of 1977. The missions Voyager 1 and 2 were created to investigate Jupiter and Saturn. Studies of those planets were successfully completed by both missions. Subsequently, in 1986 and 1989, Voyager 2 made the first ever up-close studies of Uranus and Neptune. The Voyager Grand Tour was the name given to the flybys of the four planets. The two spacecraft then set off on a new mission to investigate far-off regions of space. Voyager 1 had passed the line separating our solar system from interstellar space, according to a 2013 NASA announcement. Interstellar refers to space between stars. According to researchers, the beginning of interstellar space is where the sun's magnetic field and continuous flow of particles end. Voyager 2 eventually travelled into interstellar space in 2018. The spacecraft was 17.7 billion kilometres from the sun at this time. The only spacecraft to have so far explored interstellar space is the Voyagers. The two explorers studied the interactions between the solar wind, the sun's continuous stream of charged particles, and the interstellar medium. The heliosphere, a protective bubble that encircles our solar system, has also been investigated by them. The heliosphere is created by the solar wind and is shaped and altered by interstellar conditions. NASA claims that the Voyager spacecraft has provided new information on interstellar space. For instance, they found that cosmic rays are roughly three times more intense outside of the heliopause than they are inside the heliosphere. To get a more comprehensive understanding of our solar and how the heliosphere interacts with interstellar space, scientists combine the discoveries from Voyager with information from later missions. According to NASA, scientists reported that Voyager 1 had captured a humming sound that was connected to waves detected in minute quantities of gas discovered in the almost empty interstellar space. The Voyager missions during the past four decades have provided substantial knowledge on the Sun and the Sun's influence on the solar system. The ability of voyagers to function in temperatures much below those for which they were designed continues to baffle experts. Researchers have also found evidence of strange activity outside the solar system. The heliopause, which separates the heliosphere from the interstellar medium, seems to be rippling and producing unexpectedly obtuse angles. It is not a novel idea that the heliopause can alter the shape. Researchers have discovered that it is not static over the last 10 years. They made this discovery by combining information from NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer, IBEX satellite, which studies the emissions of energetic neutral atoms, ENAs, produced when solar winds and the interstellar medium interact, with information from the only two spacecraft to have ever left the heliosphere. The only direct in-situ measurements of the positions of these limits are made by the Voyager spacecraft, but only at a single point in space and time. The information has been utilised by scientists to create models that predict future changes to the heliopause. In a nutshell, solar winds and the interstellar medium exert forces on one another to establish a border that is continually moving. Recent heliopause research, however, has produced data that deviates from earlier conclusions. IBEX observed the brightening of ENAs that showed heliopause asymmetries over a period of several months in 2014. And the researchers later discovered that these asymmetries were inconsistent with the model's predictions. Furthermore, after analysing data from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, researchers found that the heliopause changed significantly in a relatively short period of time. 
That explained why there was such a large lag between the 2012 and 2018 entrance of the two spacecraft into interstellar space, respectively. The heliopause movement, however, defies the ideas as well. In a paper that was published in the journal Nature Astronomy, the researchers referred to these discrepancies as entry-speaking and possibly contentious. Scientists want to keep studying the heliopause in the anticipation of learning more from NASA's interstellar mapping and acceleration probe, IMAP, an upgraded spacecraft that will launch in 2025 and be able to detect ENAs. Additionally, in the middle of May last year, the Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, an onboard component of Voyager 1 that is in charge of maintaining the spacecraft's high-gain antenna pointed at Earth, began transmitting confusing jumbles of data instead of the usual updates on the health and status of the spacecraft. From our vantage point, it appeared that the spaceship had acquired a condition resembling an electronic aphasia, which affects a person's capacity for fluent speech. The data might not reflect any plausible condition at all, or they might have been generated at random. Even more puzzling for the engineers, according to a NASA statement at the time, was the fact that Voyager 1 appeared to be in fine shape despite the odd status reports from the spacecraft. The ship's radio signal is still strong and reliable, proving that the antenna is still pointed at Earth and is not, as the AACS asserted, in a different configuration. Similar to how the AACS was behaving strangely, the science systems on Voyager 1 continued to collect and transmit data as usual to NASA. The fault prevention mechanism, which is intended to put the spaceship into safe mode if there is a problem, was not activated by whatever was wrong with the AACS either. Thankfully, NASA experts found the issue and were able to put a fix in place. It was found that the AACS had started transmitting its telemetry data via an onboard computer that had long since stopped working. Because the dead computer corrupted all the outgoing data, all NASA engineers had to do was instruct the AACS to use the proper computer to send its data home. Finding out what caused the AACS to switch systems in the first place will be the next difficult task. The system likely received a bad command from another onboard computer, according to NASA. While they assert that there is now no grave concerns for Voyager 1's well-being, the root cause must be identified and fixed to stop more strangeness. Outside the magnetic field of our Sun, Voyager 1 has been drifting in interstellar space for the past 10 years. In the same way that Earth's magnetic field protects us from high-energy particles and radiation from the Sun, the field protected the craft from cosmic rays and other interstellar radiation. It's reasonable to suppose that the onboard computers of Voyager 1 will also be concerned about memory errors that can accumulate over time when one of those high-speed energetic particles contacts a computer chip. At this point in the Voyager mission, a riddle like this is sort of expected, according to Susan Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and 2. Both spacecraft are far older than anticipated by the mission plan, more than 45 years old. Also, we are in interstellar space, which is a very radioactive environment that has never been traveled through by a spaceship before. These spacecraft have already traveled through some amazing terrain. However, they have always had a secondary duty, communicating with any extraterrestrial visitors who might happen to peer inside a craft in the future. Each one carries a metal golden record that resembles a vinyl record. Each record was jam-packed with music, nature sounds, messages, photos, and more by a group of scientists and artists, including Carl Sagan and Frank Drake. They also included players and instructions in case they were ever discovered. The huge undertaking aims to portray a tale about people, human aspirations, and our planet. Together with pictures of families, houses, and technological advancements, it features music by Bach and Chuck Berry. The purpose of the record was trying to answer the question that we would have, says John Lomberg, a scientific artist and the designer for the Golden Records team. What were the beings like who sent it? What did they look like? What did they act like? What was their world like? So it's really a self-portrait. The records are not intended to constitute a precursor to first contact. In contrast to the SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Program. In fact, it's possible that the golden records will be discovered in millions of years, perhaps after human civilizations have vanished. That feels more like discovering a fossil. Dinosaurs can't be communicated with. This is a reminder that we once lived here. It may be thought of as our obituary. But how would a hypothetical extraterrestrial actually approach this vast chronicle of human existence? Well, by playing any record as you would. NASA reportedly believed that, should they be sufficiently advanced, alien civilizations would be familiar with vinyl. That's fair. Each golden record comes with a cartridge, and yes, a needle inside of a protective aluminium jacket. Both also contain instructions that describe the history of the Voyager vessels and how the record is supposed to be played in the symbolic language you can see inscribed in the image above. The spacecraft, Carl Sagan put it, will be encountered and the record played only if there are advanced spacefaring civilizations in interstellar space. What are the chances that the map will actually travel on board the voyages to alien shores? Pretty small. The object is moving at a speed of around 10 kilometers per second, which for an average star separation takes around half a million years to travel from one star to another. Naturally, it's not directed toward any particular star. Instead, it's just moving forward. 
A civilization from another planet with sufficiently potent radars might be able to spot the Voyager spacecraft from a great distance. It's still implausible, thus the Voyager's recordings of Earth's sights, sounds and maps may continue to travel across space inaudibly for all time. The truth is that for nearly a century, people have been inadvertently broadcasting their existence to the cosmos via radio, TV and radar signals. Who knows what fresh message to the stars might wind up entering orbit as private space companies continue to grow. The distant spaceship may even be discovered by our descendants rather than by aliens, and they'll be reflecting on the fact that it was one of the most remarkable things our species accomplished in the 20th century. Wouldn't that be amazing? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click on the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.